Finally tonight, to the author who says she's had to work around her dyslexia to write a successful series of children's books. Anna Taylor says she wants to inspire others with the same condition. Her message, things do get easier over the years. Maria Veronese has been to Woodbridge in Suffolk to meet her. Excitedly, Snowball, Smokey and Portia clambered into the royal air balloon. It started to rise into the air very quickly. Anna Taylor has overcome her dyslexia to write stories for children. Her pets, past and present, are her inspiration, as is her parents' garden overlooking the River Deben in Suffolk. I can't say it was easy. I did have dyslexic problems and I had to work around that. And there were certain spellings, there were certain sentences. But as I have progressed over the years, writing has become easier. It was a challenge in the beginning, but I wasn't going to let it stop me. And also because of that, um, I wanted to inspire others. Anna's stories are interactive. They're books, they're online, and there are games children can play, all created to build reading and writing confidence. Dyslexic people, people with learning difficulties, are some of the cleverest people around. If you look at some of the celebrities um, and people who do every day uh, jobs you can see this is the big mistake no dyslexic people are very clever they're, they're not certainly not idiots by any means the pandemic obviously a challenge for everyone but yeah. for you as a writer how, how has that been i actually had coronavirus very very badly it nearly took my life actually last year it was like having a knife put into my chest it was so bad because i wasn't allowed out for four weeks it was it was horrendous and i kept writing and i kept creating images and i kept creating videos and I was just very, very determined. And has harnessed her creativity once again to write her fourth book. When they arrived back at Smokey's stable, all that remained of the adventure was the China statue of Snowball. The one of Portia had disappeared. Could it have gone back to Rabatina? Maria Varanese, BBC Look East at Woodbridge in Suffolk.